Since the last update in FC Mobile, there are a few tweaks and changes that you can make in the settings that make head-to-head -head much easier. Hey guys, finally he sleeps here. Today we're gonna to take a look at head-to-head -to -head and a couple of minor tweaks that you can make in settings that make things much easier uh, when playing versus in a head-to-head -head after the update. It specifically has to do with shot power and how you control the ball uh, on the field as you work your way around. Some dribbling note and a speed of play. Uh, the, there's a setting that a lot of people haven't paid attention to or turned off and it does make a big difference. Uh, first though, make sure you subscribe here at YouTube so you never miss when an FC Mobile video goes live. This is the new channel for FC Mobile content here on YouTube as we continue to develop it. I have moved from my old main channel, which is now all car content. So if you play this game and you're looking for FC Mobile content, make sure you subscribe here at Finally He Sleeps FC. All right, so... The changes that we have in the new uh, after the update has to do with the speed of play uh, when you're taking shots and shot power. Uh, there were some complaint, not necessarily complaints, but uh, the powered shot that you have. If you go into the slow mo version of the powered shot, it gives it, it slows the game down enough that you can usually defend against it if you are paying attention. Uh, you can turn that off. That is the first note. Turn off the slow-mo close-up for power shot. The second major thing is they have um, the game update makes the way you dribble at the defender. If you turn on the strafing, it does make dribbling in the attack much simpler. The last change has to do with uh, the speed of powering up your shots. The One of the gameplay updates for this last big update was that it was too easy to score goals. And that was kind of the complaint. The it, it Especially in like versus and uh, it came down to who could score goals the quickest. And they attempted to remove the spamming feature for uh, crossing. And in the process of making those changes and changing the way defense worked, it meant scoring goals became more difficult after the gameplay update and defending against goals because of the way the defense is set up became a little bit more difficult as well. But with this one change, it does make things much simpler. If you go into settings here under gameplay, this is where the changes uh, are at. I would suggest changing it to power shot zoom turn that off don't leave it on it does change the way uh, your power shots come across it's not necessarily making them faster but it does make the gameplay quicker which uh, has allowed more power shots to go in for me i have advanced passing turned on i have tap double tap gesture passing turned off because i don't necessarily use it as much since the advanced passing update but this is the one I'm talking about. Fast power up rate. Turn this on, shorter power up time for all passes and shots button. This allows you to make a quicker touch on the buttons for passes and shots and to continue the power. But after the update, it doesn't mean that you're blowing things across the, you know, the top bar. It's as long as you're just using a quick tap on the power it has uh, actually that and the change to the way the power up uh, for turning off the close up mode for the power shot. These two buttons together at those two settings, the power shot zoom off and the fast power up rate on has made a big difference. Uh, and then the last one is contextual strafe dribble facing the opponent. Your player keeps the ball close while dribbling near him. This is something that i um, I've worked with on and off to see which you know results in better gameplay. With it on, with contextual strafe dribbling on, my results are better, but I'm not necessarily feeling it during the game, but my win rate 
after turning this on and with the other adjustments has been much, much better. So consider contextual, contextual strafe dribbling turned on. With this kind of uh, adjustments to the gameplay, uh, it's been a struggle to find the most effective way to play head to head. And just with those few changes, it's made a big difference for me. And if you're using the uh, head to head option for the uh, team of the season, the uh, Tots Arena, where you can earn 20 points for a head to head win, it does make a big difference uh, as, as far as the rewards go. So here in Tots Arena, where we have head to head is giving out 20 points for a win, 10 points for a draw. It's the same amount of energy to use it at versus is 10, five and two. So we're looking at 20, 10 and five or 10, five and two. If you want max rewards here, as long as you're winning one in three games in head to head, it is a, a much higher win rate and point structure payout. Uh, that the 91 Moscarenos each week are much easier to achieve. And then if you can get uh, spend some gems as well and take all of the head-to-head -head matches that you can, it is easily possible to complete uh, both a Moscareno and the ultimate pack for a 92 to 99, uh, this pack as well. And the being able to complete both of those in seven days each week does make a big difference here for team of the season. All right, that's it. I hope that information helped uh, and good luck with your head to head. If it did help, make sure you subscribe here on the FC mobile channel uh, on YouTube. That way you never miss when these videos go live. I am finally he sleeps. Appreciate you guys watching the video today. As long as you keep showing up, I'll keep making videos.